your stone, your crystal is rhodochrosite. So that's kind of interesting because this has a very similar color and vibration for what's coming up this February. So with rhodochrosite, it's, you know, it's a stone of love. It's a stone of connecting with healing, with in a, your inner child, especially with the pink vibration. And with pink as well, especially with these little bands of pink, it's almost like reconnecting with childhood friends, maybe with memories as well. So I feel that your month is very much about relationships, connecting to um, people that uh, maybe you haven't linked with in a long time. So conversations are coming up for you. You may be connecting via the internet, etc. With this as well, there's a little little black dot in there. I feel as if there's a little bit of heartache that's coming in and it could just be around memories or something that, again, you haven't achieved yet in this lifetime and you're just waiting to achieve it. Because it's pink, it can be about those relationships that you're wanting to to kind of embrace in your life right now. Now, we could think of soulmate relationships, but this is also about work relationships as well, acquaintances. So this is a great month for you to reach out to people that are influencers that will help you to move along, maybe in your career, or maybe somebody that's gonna help you to, like a coach, someone that's gonna help you to find the path that is right for you. I feel that that pink energy is gonna help you in that direction as well. Pink is a color of harmony, of sound. So this is a great month to sing. It's also a great month to, to find your theme tune. <laughs> So I feel like you're going to find a little bit of passion this month and wonderful relationships that are going to work for you instead of against you. Taurus, your stone is selenite. So this has this most beautiful, it's almost ethereal. It has a, a shine to it. And selenite, of course, links with the moon. And it looks like a full moon, doesn't it? So this is probably going to be a little bit of an emotional month for you. With this white, it, it's like a cloud. So you could have been feeling like you're confused, you're stuck, something isn't working for you. But with this cloudy energy, it says that emotional vibe, let's say, that's coming into your life is going to upset the apple cart within you. So something has to shift within you in order for you to move forward and for those clouds to part so you can see where you're going. So there's confusion that's coming up with this. I also feel that, of course, the, the new moon and the full moon are going to be times when you are feeling at your most sensitive. That sensitivity can work two ways. It can mean that you're feeling much more emotional than usual, but it can also mean that you're much more psychic than usual as well. So those are great times to create a ritual for whatever it is you want in your life right now, but also to tune in, to meditate, to connect with your inner world, and maybe to tune in to your future, or tune into a, a, an answer to a question. If you've been looking for an answer, especially with that confusion energy that's been around as well, if you've been looking for an answer, then the new and the full moon times will be best for you to find those answers. I also feel with this, you know, sometimes with selenite, it almost looks like there's a crack and it's about to crack and it's not very strong. I feel that you are stronger than you, you realize. And it's time for you to embrace that strength. You're, you're much stronger and you can do so much more than you realize. You're not as weak as you, you seem to think. You have that fabulous ability to see beyond what is in your current life and go further. That confusion is just that maybe you've been stuck and you haven't been able to see as far as you usually do. But you will do. I feel that the middle of the month, something is shifting for you. And then uh, towards the end of the month, it feels almost like you're back on track again. 
Gemini, so for you, you get, ooh, <laughs> you get this piece of black tourmaline. It's a heart, of course. Now, black tourmaline is, it's usually a stone of protection. So it's saying that you are protected this month, that there's nothing to worry about, you're gonna be okay on your travels, in your home, in your life. You are protected if you've got any worries or cares or concerns, especially around things like losing a job or, or losing something, then this is saying it's okay, you're gonna be all right. But it also says that something is coming up from your heart that needs to be healed and you know, we've all got stuff coming up all the time, but I feel that with this black tourmaline, that is something that you haven't noticed, something that you hadn't even thought about, and it's coming, it's rising up to the surface, and and I feel as if it, it's not gonna hurt you physically, but I, I do feel as if something physical is going to manifest that will, the it'll it'll make you understand or realize what it is you need to work on so for instance if you start getting a skin rash it's not that it's a huge problem it may be that what you need to work on is your um, protection or your boundaries if you get a headache then maybe it's something that you need to to work on thinking too much about things, overthinking things, overanalyzing things. So hopefully that makes sense for you with this. I also feel one last thing with this, that with relationships, that it could be that somebody is leaving your life, leaving your circle of friends. It could it could just be that they're going on a, an extended trip. So it's not that you're you're losing them altogether. And I don't feel that it's about losing someone into spirit. This is more about uh, a distance that's going to come between you. But I don't feel like it's a bad thing, so it's not something to worry about. Cancer, your stone is fluorite, this beautiful piece of green fluorite. Has a little bit of another color in there. Often fluorite comes in lots of different colors. So because of that, it's a stone of multitasking. It says that you are doing lots of different things this month. This is a really busy time for you. It's also saying that something is like cell regeneration. Something is regenerating in your life. So I feel like an old job or an, uh, maybe something that you made money from previously because green is about cash, you know, it's about abundance. So it, it seems almost like something is coming back. It could be owed money or it could be that uh, a job that you had previously, they're going to invite you to come back or it could be a promotion, whatever it is, but it's something that you've done before and money is going to start coming back from that. What I also feel with this is that it looks almost like a marble. So I feel that with the green energy, there's a heart vibration with it. And with the pale green, it's a new beginning. With marbles, you know, we play with the marbles as children. So I feel as if this is a time for you to, you know, with the multitasking, to find balance. So to find a time to play, and especially with people that you've known for a long time, and there is a sense of you making a decision this month of, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I put play into my diary at least once a month, maybe once a week, so that you can have more fun because you know you can just overdo it this is a clear vibration so I feel that this is a just a great month for you you're probably going to be clearing things out of the way you know anything that has decayed in your life anything that has um, been stuck and, and it, especially tidying things up in your home, in your office, it feels like that is a great thing to do with this vibration. And then you can come into this fresh new beginning ready for March to start. Leo, so for you, you get this gorgeous piece of grossular green garnet. 
So it has two colors in it. It's got a pale green and it's got a dark green. And when that usually, for me, when that comes up, it means that you're trying to find balance in your life, but also success is there. So for me, this is saying that there's um, money coming in from numerous different places for you. There is a feeling of love and fun and joy in the green. I also feel that with this green vibration that that you may be finding time now to go on walks. That's what it, it, you know, that's what comes to me when I'm holding this stone, that it's time to start getting healthy and walking is part of that out in the green, out in the, out in nature. With garnet, you know, there's a, an element of strength that comes with garnet. There's an element of grounding yourself. So with the green vibration, it could be particularly around emotional things that it's time to start looking carefully at your life, looking carefully at your relationships, looking carefully at what you tend to get a little bit hot-headed about, you know, and emotional about, and now start to ground that energy and look at the truth of the matter. Because green is that energy of truth. People think it's blue, but of course blue has an element of truth in it as well. But green is where it's your heart. So that is where your truth is. So I feel with this, that it's asking you to <clears throat> look at what is true for you and then follow the path that feels right for you, not for somebody else. Uh, the last thing with this, I, I'm getting the sense of lots of relationships, lots of friends around you. It feels like party time. So there could be a celebration that's coming up as well, especially there's lots of little dots on this particular stone. And the final thing, there's lots of things keep coming up here. Um, I feel as if you're, you're probably going to be planning a trip as well. And that trip is going to be in nature, out in the green. So there's gonna be something around health that is connected with that trip too. So have a great time. Virgo, your stone is angelite. It's one of my favorite stones, I love angelite. So with this, you know, the blue vibration can be about speaking up. So this month, there's a focus on speaking up, saying your piece, asking for what you want, etc. The blue vibration also says that it's time to be honest with yourself. If something isn't working for you, then it's time to move on. Blue is an energy of there's a, a, a vibration of new beginnings that come with this, but the new beginning is more aligned with the divine will. So it's what the heavens are bringing into your life. So astrology may be very important for you this month. It might be good to, to check out your chart. Also, loved ones in spirit may be coming through to you, particularly in your dreams. And because it's called angel light, it links with angels. So this is saying that this is a good time to connect with your angels for guidance, for advice, and maybe to start, excuse me, to start working with the angels as well. So start doing some oracle readings, maybe take courses, etc., that help you to connect with angels, especially with that blue vibration. There's education in there too. So if you connect to your angels, your angels will guide you where you need to go and what you need to do next. that's it hope you enjoyed my video if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the like button share it with your friends and let me know in the comments below if the message is resonated for you you can also grab my free color kit if you hit the subscribe button at the top you'll get my love letter that's weekly with articles and lots of other interesting information as well if you want to find out when my next video is uploaded I have them twice a week connect with me on my channel just subscribe to my youtube channel 
I offer services. I offer different consultations. You can find out more about those on my website, sealedwithlove.com. I will see you soon. Lots of color wishes, blessings to you. Bye.